So once you do all these things, you prepare the floor plan of each floor, not only the ground floor, for the each floor, first floor, second floor, and the third floor. And you also prepare the elevations, okay? So here I have only shown the floor plan and uh, you also prepare the elevations. And after you are done with this, what you do is you do the preliminary cost estimation. So this is our preliminary cost estimation, okay? Cost estimation. Based on the floor plans, the preliminary floor plans that you have prepared, you can get the area of each floor. For example, the ground floor plan, the area is 86.31 square meter, right? Similarly, first floor plan area is this much, second floor area is this much, third floor area is this much, and the total area is 326.67 square meter. And you can also get this in the square feet as well by multiplying with 10.76, you know this factor. So once we have all this area, then based on this area, using thumb rule, you can get the total cost. For example, here, the cost of the civil works, foundation and the structural works, they are done at 2,250 rupees. So this is Nepali rupees per square feet, okay? That's, you have got the total square feet area over here. You multiply this with uh, 2,250, then you get this value. Similarly, finishing works. So after the structure is done, the finishing work, the brick work, plastering, painting, uh, doors and windows, and the flooring works, that also you do at 2,250. These rates are just taken for the example, just for the estimation, and they can vary based on the contractor, based on the location, and based on the client as well. If you need a very lavish uh, finishing, let's say, then this rate might not be sufficient. You might need more. And if you do not need a uh, very lavish uh, finishing, you just need a moderate or an average finishing, then this rate might be high. This rate, if you know, if you have already done the project, then you can place that rate and get the total cost over here, the cost of civil work. But if you do not know it, then you can take the help from the local contractor that has been doing these works and he will give you the per square feet rate. So this is for the estimation purpose only. During the construction, you prepare the BOQ and things and based on the BOQ and the rate of each item, you get the total cost estimate and you, you do the total billing as well. So the cost of services, so electric works at the rate 20%. If the cost of civil work is very high, then this percentage gets lower and lower. And sanitary and plumbing works at the rate 10%. And the total cost comes as this one. So you add up these two uh, values and get the total at total as this and after that a bad 13 percent and the grand total you get this value so this is how you do the preliminary cost estimation so once the client gets the estimate cost estimate now he knows whether this project is in his budget or not if it's in his budget then he will proceed with the project if not maybe he will try to reduce the area reduce the number of floors whatever his requirements that you two have to discuss and come to the conclusion. So this is the completion of the stage one where you prepare the preliminary design and do the preliminary cost estimate.